Hey guys, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I want to quickly talk about the Samsung Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. Now, as you know, the S7 Edge is going to be replaced with an S8 Plus, and the S7 is going to be called the S8 because both S8s are going to have an edge curved display. Okay, so the S8 is going to be S8 is going to be the smaller one, S8 Plus is going to be the larger one. And there have been a lot of leaks, so we kind of know what the phone is going to look like. Uh, again, these are leaks and rumors, so we're not sure, but we have an idea. Okay, so this might just all be nonsense. But you know that these days, leaks are pretty accurate for some reason. Especially when they come from multiple sources, which in this case has happened. Anyway, as you know, the S8 has a huge screen. The screen to body ratio is extremely high. So even the smaller S8 has a 5.7 inch display approximately. And the larger S8 Plus has a 6.3 inch display based on some schematics that were given to GSM Arena and based on some other leaks that we have seen. Uh, even we have seen a video from Samsung themselves that showcases how, this, how big the screen is. Now, with the screen being so big, uh, there's no home button in the front of the screen, which is the topic of this video, the fingerprint sensor. So the question is, where is the fingerprint sensor going to be on the Samsung Galaxy S8? Is it going to be on the back of the phone, such as the Nexus 6P or the LG V10? Or is it going to be in the front built in to the display? Okay, which is what I want, which would be amazing. Uh, Samsung is an innovator. If you look at their record, you know, they come up with things like S Pen, the iris scanner, which scans your eyeballs and unlocks the phone. They do things like IP68 grade water resistance, which is fantastic. You can dive into the ocean with this thing and you can still operate it, okay? So Samsung is a known innovator. All right, so based on those factors of innovation, the history of innovation, uh, I am going to assume that Samsung is gonna have a built-in fingerprint sensor on the front of the display built into the display which is going to be fantastic so basically what's what's gonna happen is to unlock the phone with your fingerprint you can put your fingers anywhere on the screen at least that's what I think otherwise what they would do is they would probably have a small area towards the bottom of the screen that's going to be the fingerprint sensor area which is also fine most likely we're gonna have some software home buttons like you know like the HTC 10 or the pixel the home button the back button and the multitasking button is all software based so we most likely are gonna have that towards the bottom of the display but somewhere along there we also are going to have a fingerprint sensor okay all right, so that's it guys. Look, if you guys have any information about this fingerprint sensor location, and if you have a, a access to a good source, just drop a link down in the comments below so I can go check it out. I'm really excited about the Samsung Galaxy S8. Uh, you know, the Note 7 is gone. That was a phone of uh, my dreams. I really wanted to use that phone, but it's gone. So now I'm looking for a very good Android replacement for the Note 7, and I think S8 is going to be the one. Yes, it doesn't have the S Pen, but it's still going to have a lot of new features that are going to excite me, I hope. So if you do have information, just drop a comment below. Uh, if you have any concerns, questions, again, drop a comment below. Make sure you subscribe to Saki Tech. I'll be covering the Samsung Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus a lot. And uh, give me a thumbs up, of course, or a thumbs down if you don't like the video. And you have a fantastic day. I will see you the next time.